हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी फ्रॉम द फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज़ माई सेमिनार प्रजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक लैंड रिक्लेमेशन थ्रू ड्रेजिंग दिस इज़ माई टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स विच इंक्लूड इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रेजिंग प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व टेक्निक्स प्रिवेंटिंग डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ फिल्म मटेरियल केस स्टडीज engineering challenges and conclusion starting with the introduction we have the definitions of land reclamation and dredging land reclamation is the process of creating new land from the sea the simplest method of land reclamation involves filling the area with large amounts of heavy rock or cement then filling with clay and soil until the desired height is reached Land reclamation is the idea of getting new land. It is usually done in coastal areas. Sometimes it is also done in areas like rivers and lakes. Usually there is a natural process which fills such areas with sand, dirt and other materials. Land reclamation uses the same process. D- dredging here is the initial step where materials are removed from the seabed. often to create channels or extract sediments types of dredging hydraulic fill method in this method dredged materials are transported as a slurry through pipelines then deposited at the reclamation site the materials settle and gradually form the reclaimed land hopper dredging hopper dredges scoop up sediments from the seabed and store it in their onboard hoppers The dredged material is then transported to the reclamation area where it is released through doors in the bottom of the hopper. Pouldering involves creating enclosed areas within water bodies by constructing dikes or embankments. The water is then drained or pumped out and the enclosed area is filled with soil to create reclaimed land. Bucket dredging. Bucket dredgers use a rotating bucket or clamshell to scoop up sediments from the seabed the material is then transported and released at the reclamation site processes involved site selection engineers choose suitable sites for land reclamation considering factors such as water depth soil composition environmental impact and proximity to existing infrastructure survey and investigation conducting detailed surveys and investigations of the seabed to understand the topography soil conditions and any potential environmental challenges dredging excavation of underwater sediments typically sand or mud using specialized vessels called dredgers dredgers remove material from the seabed to create a basin or area for land reclamation transporting dredged material Dredged materials such as sand, silt or gravel are transported from the dredging site to the designated area for land reclamation. This can be done using various means including pipelines, barges, dumps, cows or conveyor systems. Placement of fill materials. The materials are strategically deposited in specific locations and configurations to meet design specifications. Computer aided design CAD may be used to optimize the placement taking into account factors such as the shape of the reclaimed land and its elevation usual technique of placement is to release fill material at high pressure using large vessels with great draft length compaction compaction is a crucial step that follows the placement of each layer of fill material vibro compaction is usually done infrastructure development Once the reclaimed land has reached the desired elevation and stability infrastructure development such as roads buildings and utilities can begin techniques preventing displacement of fill material several mechanisms and engineering techniques commonly employed to prevent the displacement of fill material is geotextiles and geogrids geotextiles and geogrids are synthetic materials used to stabilize and reinforce fill material They are placed within the fill material to improve its structural integrity and prevent erosion. Retaining structures. 
Retaining structures such as retaining walls or revetments may be built along the edges of the reclaimed land. These structures help hold the fill material in place and prevent erosion caused by waves and currents. Tiebacks and anchors Tiebacks and anchors are structural elements used to reinforce retaining walls or other structures. They provide additional support and help prevent movement or displacement of the fill material. Case studies One of the many case studies that I have put in this presentation is the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Engineering principles used are land reclamation, dredging, which involves hydraulic dredging, and the use of geotextile materials. It was developed by Nakheel, a Dubai-based company. It covers an area of about 5.72 square kilometers. It added approximately 78 kilometers, which is 48.5 miles of new coastline to Dubai. Construction began in 2001 and was completed in 2006. Second, the Pearl Island, Doha, Qatar. Engineering principles used are land reclamation in Arabian Gulf, poldering used for dredging. Developed by United Development Company, UDC, Qatar. 4 million square meter of reclaimed land. Over 32 kilometers of new coastline. Construction was completed in 2006 and it is known for its hotels, variety of charming cafes and restaurants. The third one is Songdo International Business.